Well, good day. I'm Rob Pyland, Master Goldsmith. We've been working at putting up some YouTube videos of what I actually do. Today we're going to show you how to make a mold for a pattern to put it into production. This is a silicone rubber mold that we make from the original pattern so we can draw waxes, which is what this is for the casting of the pieces. This is a vulcanizer. It's heated to about 310 degrees. This is the pattern of the new hounds that I'm going to be making the mold of. We start out by taking sheets of silicon rubber have to pull the covers off both sides and we're going to put them into this mold frame. We're going to apply several layers first. The next layer I'm going to put a cut in for the sprue way. That's the opening into the mold. There we go. That's in place. I'm going to fill in the bezel with some extra rubber. That should be enough. Okay, next I'm going to cover this with another layer. It's a fairly simple process, but it is time consuming. This will have to cook for about a half an hour once I get it in the press under pressure. You notice I am actually bringing rubber above the mold frame. The reason for that is when I put this under pressure, it is going to be compressed. Okay, this mold will become six, number 695, but what I'm going to do is put a little arrow here that tells me which way the pattern is inside. And I use the little thing called top. That tells me where it face up. And then I'm going to put six nine five because when I take this out we will mark it with bigger numbers these are the sheets that this goes in to go into the pressure uh, the mold maker this will slide into here like that and now I'm going to crank this down on this there are small holes in the side of the mold frame that rubber will actually extrude out of. So I'm going to keep cranking this down until I see that. Okay, it's been in for enough time to cook. I'm going to open this up now and take it out. Then it will have to cool before I can cut it. That's hot. We don't want to touch it. You see we got rubber coming out the holes in the side. We've got extra coming off the top. So I'm going to take this and let it cool now before I take it out of the mold and cut it. Okay, this is the mold ready to be taken out of the frame, what it looks like after it comes out of the vulcanizer. So I'm going to take it out, show you what it looks like, and then we are going to trim it, and I'm going to show you uh, how to cut it. This is what I was talking about with the rubber extruding out through the side of the frame. Now what I was saying about the sprue way. Well there's the button. You can see it there. I'm going to go take it out right now. Basically I'm going to take a pair of pliers that are go in here. And that comes off. 
You mark all sides of the mold with the number so it's easy to find them when they're in the cabinet or the drawers where they're stored. Okay, the next step in this is going to be cutting the mold open. Okay, first step in doing this is I'm going to create a parting line cut around the entire outside of the mold. And I'm going to now start the opening process. It gets easier for the uh, as, you, as you go. This rubber is quite um, resistant. This will actually give me a little bit more leverage. There is the mold cut into its two halves. We are now going to draw the first wax with it. So. how you make a mold. That's how we make the waxes for the castings. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.